This happens to any one of us, right? Where we intend to sin, but something stops us. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. So, um, someone had asked me recently, they, they described this scenario in their life where they said someone had hurt them, someone had upset them, someone had maybe kind of even infuriated them, and so they wrote this kind of like nasty letter to someone where they kind of just leaned into them and criticizing them and yelling at them back. Okay. But then they said, after a little bit, they thought better of it and said, I'm not going to send this letter, tore it up, threw it away. And then they wrote to me and said, but do I need to go to confession over this? Because it was like, it was a pretty bad letter. Do I need to go to confession over this even though I didn't send it? And I thought, that's a really good question. In fact, that's a, a great sign of a, a, a sensitive and awake, alive conscience is asking that question of like, well, I, I, I did this thing, um, but I didn't send this thing. So where do I stand? Where's my soul when it comes to this thing? Remarkable question. Um, actually, there um, have been a number of occasions when this happens to any one of us, right? Where we intend to sin, but something stops us. Now, there's two things that can stop us. Two things that can stop us. One is we can be stopped externally and one we can be stopped internally. So if I'm stopped externally, so the, the classic example would be this. Me and my uh, 10 friends, we decide we're gonna rob a bank, or maybe a casino or something like this. And so we have this elaborate plot, we get everything in position and we drive up to the bank. And as we're about to go into the bank, we see a bunch of uh, cop cars right outside the bank, a bunch of uh, police inside the bank. And we realize, okay, wait, let's not do this. Let's, let's leave, let's not rob the bank. So our intention was to rob the bank, but we were prevented from robbing the bank because, well, someone else, right? So I had made the act of the will to choose to do the thing, but I was prevented from doing the thing by external circumstances. This can happen. And, Pick whatever kind of sinful scenario you would like. Do I need to go to confession over that? Probably yes, right? Because that wasn't an act of virtue. I didn't stop myself. I did stop myself, but it was more along the lines of I stopped because I was prevented from doing it externally. There was cops there. I didn't have the opportunity to act on my sin. So I should bring that to confession because my act of the will was if I had the opportunity, I would have done it and I had tended to do it, intended to do it. Make sense? No. For this person, their perspective was, I wrote the letter and then I thought better of it. I thought, I don't need to send this letter. This letter will only do destruction. I don't need to cause that in someone else's life. And so they stopped themselves. That, I would say, is an act of virtue. It's, a, it's something similar. Maybe you could even say the person who's going to rob the bank. They are going to go down to rob the bank solo, maybe not their, their, them and them. Them, them and their friends, you're gonna rob the bank solo. And you start driving down to the bank and you're like, you know what? This isn't me. This isn't what I'm called to do. I'm gonna turn the car around. That's an act of virtue. This happens a bunch of times when I'm talking to students with whatever area of sin in their life is there and they say, yeah, yeah I, I booted up the computer and then I thought, you know what? No, not this time. I'm like, great, that's an act of virtue. Or they're like, they said, you know, when it came to, I started mentioning, you know, gossip about my, my one roommate with the other roommate and I thought, you know what? Mm, no, I don't need to say this. I don't need to be that kind of person. That internal stopping yourself is making the decision of virtue and that doesn't need to be confessed. Now, last caveat for this particular person who was writing this, you know, quote unquote, nasty letter. To whatever degree they had fed their anger, to whatever degree they had fed their vengeance by taking the time to write the letter, um, in order to hurt the other person, that might be something they would need to bring to confession. You know, even though they didn't send the letter, they might have to say like, yeah, but you know what? I allowed that anger to fester in me. We could say the same thing with something like lust. Like I didn't act on the lust externally, but like I really, really kind of grabbed onto it internally. And I, the word would be, I consented to it internally. And maybe I should bring that to confession. Um, now, a person might not necessarily have to bring that to confession depending on the gravity of that, depending on the seriousness or um, the kind of the elements of that like th sin of thought. But there are times when it can be really, really helpful to say, ah, you know, I really did feed this anger. I really did feed this, this desire for vengeance. And um, even though I, I thought better of it, that's our act of virtue, but even though I thought better of it, I do want to lay it down at the foot of the cross in confession or even, even though I fed this, I really did feed this lust and I didn't act on it, but you know what? 
I realized it did something to my heart internally because I was choosing it at the time, even though I didn't act on it, which is again, an act of virtue. So it's not always super clear cut on, um, what well, was this mortal or was this venial? Was this, was this uh, um, external or was it internal? Nonetheless, the great gift we have is even when we don't know, we get to like open our, open our hearts before the Lord. We get to actually be honest and vulnerable and, and just say, Lord, I humbly come before you. To whatever degree this was a sin, I surrender it. Because you recognize it was some, it's, it's different than if you were to say, I don't know if it's a sin, but I'm just going to confess it. That, that's, that's not good. We'll make another video about that. I feel like I, if you ever are thinking like, I don't know if this is a sin, but I'm going to confess it anyways, even after you've asked someone and they're like, oh no, not at all. Or you looked up in the catechism and there's no, no, it's not a sin. But if you knew, like, no, that I knew that this was a sin. I knew that I shouldn't be consenting to this. Um, even if it wasn't grave, even if it wasn't a mortal sin, it can be really good to simply say, Lord, you know, and whatever degree, whatever degree this grabbed onto my heart, whatever degree it, to whatever degree it distorted my heart, I hand it over to you. I surrender it to you. Because there's something really good about that living relationship with God where we are willing to say, God, you know better. I thought about this, I prayed about this, and I still don't know, so I'm just going to lay it at your feet. I'm going to entrust it to you, just like, just like we entrust everything in our lives to God. Anyways, that's what I got. For all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless.